Welcome back, friends. Micah and Michael here today, and boy, do we have a crappy story for you today. So if you've ever managed vacation rentals, you know we deal with a lot of crap, and this series is the crap we deal with. Now, crap stands for criticism, rejection, a-holes, and pressure. Yeah, exactly. And so today, Michael's going to share with us a crap story about one of his experiences in the vacation rental industry, and actually what was a really nice property and, and cut you were kind of caught unawares about this. We were caught unaware of it. It's a, it was a beautiful new two-bedroom, uh, two-bath condo on South Beach, actually on a high floor overlooking the ocean. Very, very modern. And um, I was working with the property manager in that market, and she called me and uh, she said, you know, I have to tell you this, this story. I, I can't believe this, that, that guests are like this. And I said, well, what's going on? And she said, well, the guests called just they were just over the top pissed off, livid, totally huh? livid about the fact that the condo, when they checked in, was filthy. And yeah. I said, well, what happened? Did the cleaner not show up? Was the yeah. bedding not done? Yeah. You know, what, what was, what was going she's on? She's a well-trained, was, good well vacation trained, rental manager. Great vacation rental manager. And so she said, no, you're not going to believe this. So she said, I got in my car, drove an hour to the condo, wow. right? That's crappy. To, to, that's crappy enough to get there to find this guest just livid and upset that the the property was was filthy so she walked in she couldn't see anything she didn't know what was going on she said well what's happening you know what's the problem they said would you look at this and they picked up the toaster and i'm not kidding you there were three crumbs from some bread three yeah i'm not talking big pieces of bread three little crumbs and in their mind that, that was property disgusting. was disgusting yeah. and filthy. So, again, you know, these are the things that we have to deal yeah. with. Well, and the reality is the guests aren't going to cut you any slack. They're not. And there's a chunk of guests out there that are just looking for free stuff, quite honestly. Correct. I mean, that property obviously was gorgeous. If It was. They had to scour the place to find three crumbs. Three crumbs. Three, oh, well, I've I mean, got a couple. I don't know how they found three crumbs, but apparently they did. Well, this one reminded me of several other crap stories. So... Join us at DVRU, where we're going to teach you how to prevent the three-crumb nightmare and all of the other crap that we have to deal with. Stick with us. We've got more crappy stories coming your way. We'll see you soon. See you soon.